Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another installment of the Viral Podcast. I'm your host, Paige Jen. And I'm your host, Chelsea Lynn. Hey, honeys. Lady Gaga there. Hello, clown there. (laughs) You guys, this is the last week of our, uh, you know, dressing up series for October for Halloween. And I am dressed as a clown. I am not John Wayne Gacy. You're just a clown. I am a clown. (laughs) Oh my. And you are Lady Gaga and you look good. Thank you. You Just, did you did well. I already know I'm gonna be smearing my face. Yeah. It already itches. Yeah. Same. I'm not feeling well, but I look good. You think that nose will stay on? Well, it's kinda it's kinda making my voice sound weird, so let's just pop the nose off. Just go ahead and get you a look at it, everybody. Everybody gotta look. Let's get the thumbnail for the for the thing for it. Ready? All right, we got the thumbnail. I love that idea. <laughs> that saves me like 15 minutes right oh. there. Oh, boy. Oh, you just okay. got to get any image out of the hour. I know. Yeah, that's All great. Right. All right, I'm taking that nose off. So um, I'm kind of sad this is the last week of, of the dress-up. We should just do a random dress-up like, you know, in the middle of the year or something. Okay. I'm here for it. Let's do it. A random Christmas party, random. Yeah. We should dress up every holiday. Okay. What would we dress up for on Easter? Bunny. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I was thinking yeah. Jesus. <laughs> I thought about being Jesus for Halloween, but I thought people would be mad. Would you get canceled if you dressed up as Jesus? Yeah, yeah probably. We'll, we'll find a reason to cancel anybody you, for anything. Yeah. You, he didn't have long hair. He did have long hair. Well, then I'm going to do it. Yeah. Try and cancel me for dressing up as Jesus. That's on you. <laughs> that's on you. If you want to cancel me for dressing up as that's on you, not me. That ain't got nothing to do with me. That's on you. <laughs> For real, though. I know. I know. That should be with everything, though. So we were um, <clears throat> antiquing a few days ago, and uh, well, we had it on the last. Uh, we had it on the last podcast. But we didn't say anything about it. We went antiquing, and we found a uh, doughboy. Uh, what's it called? Pillsbury doughboy. Pillsbury doughboy. Uh, cookie container if you can see it up there if, you, if you're if you're not watching um it is a cookie cookie jar and uh it was expensive it's like what 80 bucks 80 freaking dollars but chelsea and maggie got the biggest steal i've ever seen at a thrift store no at an antique store i mean antique store yeah we got two really nice big ass fucking solid wood probably from the se- late 70s early 80s um dressers and when i say solid wood thick it took four people lifting it yeah i thought we were gonna help but you guys just did it and we got it for 225 dollars a piece plus 20 percent off and chelsea's standing in line like oh are you sure it's not 2225 let's make sure I, that, that that it could they could have easily sold them for two thousand dollars a piece mm-hmm. and we got it for 200 we were like i'm like you sure it says 200 not 2000 the next antique store we went to, they were selling them for like 4000 Right. So we literally fucking stole them. And we got up there to pay, and they were like, oh, the guy put these here this morning. We were there at noon, and we were like, huh, scored. So Not, Nothing like a good deal. And we'd been looking for dressers. Mm-hmm. I had been all over Facebook Market, um, all over every, I mean, I had been on Facebook Market everywhere, and I couldn't find anything. None, nothing that was, and I'm not going to be, I wasn't even picky. And then we, um, and then I was like, fuck it, I'll just buy a brand new one, although I didn't want to. So I went to West Elm, and then one of the cheapest ones they had, I bought it online. It was like $2,000, and I was like, oh. But I bought it, and they said it was going to be here at the end of the month. And then I got an email the other day saying, oh, it won't be there till end of December. And I was like, nah. So I canceled it, and we went, we went antiquing, so. Cancel that. <sighs> that's what you can cancel. Yeah, that's the only thing you can cancel. <laughs> Is an order. For a, for an expensive dresser, a purchase. And the one we got at the antique store is bigger, and yes, way probably, nicer. Probably nicer what, too. Probably real wood, right? Oh, they were heavy. Yeah. Oh, something else I want to bring up. I've seen comments from people being like, "Oh, we want Maggie and Brett to dress up too. Why can't they dress up too? They've had 
Every opportunity. Every opportunity, too, and they just don't want to. So I think people think that we said, only me and you are dressing up. Y'all aren't dressing up. We asked them to dress up. Brett has been dressing up every week. You probably just can't tell. Well, he needs to step it up. You need to do better, Brett, because you really can't tell. Well, I mean, I was a ref, and then I was mm. uh, kind of a, like a 90s rapper, maybe. But, Brett, all, jerseys. all that just looks like you. But today I'm blower man. See, you couldn't even tell. Oh. <laughs> blower man? Yeah. Today I'm blower man. That's he, not even a thing. I know. He's like, you can be blower man's sidekick. I said, oh, huh? fuck no. Nah. Leave me out of that. Huh? Jerry was <laughs> blower man's sidekick for the one uh, Instagram video we did. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. God bless well, him. Oh, well. and uh, also when we were getting ready for the podcast to start, I leaked through my pants Hmm. and i also got a brand new mattress woke up this morning big old blood spot blood clot oh no i know it i was sad and i was just saying i need a freaking mattress protector but they're so fucking annoying because they're loud don't you feel like mattress protectors are loud i have one on and it's cloth yeah mine's cloth too i got it from amazon and it's good and i've bled before on it mm-hmm. and it you just pop it off and wash it god we just go around just bleeding all over everything <laughs> I, know. I know i'm sitting on my hill in this chair so i don't get blood on it right oh now Oh god maggie can you turn my headphones down just a little bit everything's super loud y'all are talking that real better? loud that's a little better yeah thank you that's perfect yeah okay. yeah. yeah so uh a little td there <laughs> and uh what else um i'm gonna i'm gonna um, How horny is everybody on a scale of 1 to 10? I'd like to know that. Okay, I'll go first. Solid 10. Okay. Age? Uh, right now, zero because my cramps are just not okay. good. Maggie? I'm a 10 for sure. Brett? I was a 10. Now I'm probably like a 5 after hearing she's a zero. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I took him down. Okay. That's funny. That's funny. Anything else? I think I think we're ready to get, get into it, honey. Okay, should we do the DM of the day ski? Yeah. What's the DM for the day, honey? What's the DM for the day, honey? Oh, What's the DM for the day, honey? Oh, we'll tell ya. Oh, my right nostril will not stop running. Uh oh. I'm struggling. I don't even have a tissue. I'll just use my sweater. Oh, honey, should we get you some tissue? Nah. I okay. got it. Okay. Do, 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 do. Any sweater here. Do one of those farmer blows. Do no. Not. I was doing those all morning. Don't even say you were doing them. It makes me want to puke just fucking <laughs> thinking about it. Don't even say it. Don't even say the word farmer blow. God. <laughs> the way your eyes look right now. <laughs> In your mouth. Oh, God. There's nothing nastier. Then Okay. Now every time on. I see a farmer blows, <gasps> I'm going to think of farmer blows. Stop. Okay. Everybody ready? Yeah, buddy. Got a couple DMs that they were kind of they were kind of low this week on really good good DMs, you know, from old guys on Facebook. They were taking a break this week, but I have a couple here. This one is from a guy named James, and he said, "Show us that fat ass." And then two days later, enough is enough. Show us. <laughs> so. That's him. And then I got one more. I always like to throw in a, you know, throw in a, a, another one. This guy named and Dad says, and these are all old guys, all right? All old guys. He said, hi, I would love to be your boyfriend. He wrote that in February. February. Hi, I would love to be your boyfriend. And then in April... I apologize from the bottom of my heart if I've upset you. And then, a couple days ago. So this is, he's really thought about this for the last. Yeah, it's not all that serious. Ten months? Chelsea, please. I apologize from the bottom of my heart if I hurt you in any way. I don't know know if he's a really sweet guy or going to kill me. Going to kill me. Going to kill me. (laughs) Going to kill me. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> He's going to kill me. So that's cool. The, there are some DMs where you think, damn, okay, guess I'll lock my doors extra. And he's one of them. So, yeah. 
<laughs> just stay dressed like that. You'll be fine. <laughs> what if it turns them on even more? Could. Yeah. All right. What's your DM of the day, honeys? This person said, those souls. Feet. <laughs> I'll buy whatever you want me to buy you. Whoa. Those feet, though. Put the, your toes in my mouth and I will keep them warm. <laughs> and that's it from him. Wow. Feet. Feet. Not not even like saying, hey, cute feet, just feet and souls. Wow. Very interesting. So that was DM of the day, which is honestly, I know we have a lot of segments and I know we said we have some new segments coming. Okay, be patient with us. The DM of the day is always my favorite segment. When I have a good one, yeah, I need to just start saving them, yeah. stocking them up, but sometimes I forget. Oh, that's what I do. If I run across a great one, screenshotting for the pod. Well, I'll screenshot and lose it in the five million other screenshots I have. No, honeys, I screenshot it and then I favorite it. So I go to my favorites and it's all... All there? Yeah. Hey, what would you consider... Uh, consider the sole of your foot. Is that the whole bottom? Yeah. Okay. What do you think it was? I didn't know if it was just like that arch area or what. Or no, I think sole. it's the callus part. No, sole. Sole's the bottom. Yeah. Damn. Hmm. Sole's the bottom of your foot. Soldier boy. <laughs> Soldier boy, tell him. <laughs> <laughs> Soldier boy. All tell right. Him. Let's do. Uh, y'all want to do some trivia? Y'all want to do it? Mm-hmm. Maggie, we need the trivia song. <laughs> Sorry. Get trivia. Get trivia. Uh, get trivia. Get trivia. Oh, fuck me. Uh, get trivia. Get trivia. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, daddy. Oh, okay. Let's get some correct fucking answers. Hey, honey's trivia here. What do you say we do two questions apiece and then maybe we do a Todd and Damien? Okay. Does that sound good? Yeah. And the rock fucker of the week. And the rock fucker of the week. Yes. I will. uh, Yep. Let's do it. Okay. Ready? Here we go. Yellow Halloween. (sighs) Yellow Halloween for the first question of trivial. Which U.S. state produces the most pumpkins? Let's just say California. Texas? Illinois. Wonder why. Wouldn't have known that. Nope. Okay. Spinning. Paige and Chelsea only. Blue. Here we go. Okay. Chelsea. What is the make and model of Paige's car? <gasps> oh, God. I know it's a, it's a white Acura. It's a white Acura. Am I right? Yeah. What's wrong about that? You just need the model. Yeah. I think she's... Oh, I don't know nothing about models. I think she's right. <laughs> I don't know nothing about that. She's like Gigi Hadid. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, uh, that? Cindy Crawford. Kendall I mean, that's Jenner? all That's all I know. You know? So, okay. All right. Whose turn is it spin? Mine? Yours? Ooh, Yours. Damn, dude. We've done two questions and we're confused. Wait, she, she just went? Did it, she just yeah. went? Okay, mine. Me. Here we go. True or false? Green. True or false? True or false? There are 86,400 seconds in a day. True. False. You guys don't want to do the math? No. No. It's true. I, th- I thought maybe Beth was trying to trick us and maybe it was like, a, a you know, an hour, or, you know. One off. Yeah. I remember hearing an 84 one time mm-hmm. with that, so. I just mm. hope it's right. I didn't verify. It's probably not. If Beth did it, it's probably right. But if we say, you know, shedding 6,000 pounds of skin a year, <laughs> we wrong. we know that's going to be wrong. Did seem like a lot. We kind of yeah. went along with it, though. We kind of. Yeah. Well, yeah. I learned the hard way not to believe a word he says. After those DMs came flooding in of, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. The fact that we didn't use common sense. Okay. So <laughs> I know. If you guys are listening, okay? Okay. 
This I was love how we do a recap on the six thousand pounds of skin, like every <laughs> podcast. <laughs> There was a, there were, we did a podcast, one of the very first podcasts we did, and basically Brett told us that the human body sheds 6,000 or 4,000 or I don't even remember what it was. I think it was just 600 even. 600. Even though that's a lot too. Maybe it was 600. 600 pounds of skin a year and we fucking believed him. And he believed himself. Is the sad part about it. And we don't even know where he got the. I think Google hole. got me. I got, we, I went down a, a bad path. We didn't Maybe. question anything. So now I question everything. Yeah, I question everything. That little spew we had about the skin really opened my eyes to, to the, to the life, world. Yeah. To the world. I question everything now. Yeah. Do your own research. Exactly. Go down the rabbit hole. Don't trust what anybody says, especially when they say something dumb like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Especially that. Okay. Brett, lean back. All right. <laughs> you ready, Paige? Touch the wall. Okay. Birth names orange. Birth names. Here Birth we go. Birth names orange. Here we go. Okay. What is Reese Witherspoon's first name? Oh. Extra points if you know her full name. Oh, I want to say like Christine or something. I know Reese is like her mom's either middle name or maiden name. I I'm know that. I'm just going to say Reese Witherspoon. No. Well, it's Laura. <sighs> Laura Witherspoon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Interesting. So Reese is her middle name. It's either her. It's either her mom's Re- Laura Reese. It's either yeah. You want to do another birth name? Let's do it. Okay, just for fun. He blew up in 2018, becoming a worldwide success. His real name is Montero Lamar Hill. Lil Nas. Oh. I didn't know that. Lil Nas X. Yeah. I did not know that. Great job. I didn't even know that was his name. I just was thinking of somebody who blew up in 2018. First, I thought it was somebody who actually, like, got blew up. Stop. That was my first thought of who the fuck got blown up. Oh. Oh, damn. Woo. That's why you got to wait till the end of the question to start thinking. That's true. That's true. Don't freak out right away. Wait. Wait. Be patient and listen. Mm Mm-hmm. Wait, be patient, and listen. Listen to understand, not to respond. Exactly. Brett, you listen to us? All right. He's not. <laughs> He's not. Okay. So, well, you want to do the Todd and Damien? What do you want to do? How do you want to do it? Hi, oh, yeah, fuck me. Um, <laughs> we, <laughs> we could be fucking, and then a Barbara sister could just come in. People and- love the Barbara sister. Y'all do y'all, and then I'll come in. Mm. Okay. Todd, come here. Uh, uh, oh, wait. Am I am I getting fucked, or am I? I'm just in the room, just laying there, waiting for Todd. <laughs> waiting. Okay, I'll come in as Todd. I forgot I forgot the Todd voice. Okay, ready? <clears throat> Todd. Yeah, I want to fuck somebody. Okay, come in here. Who's here to fuck? Mm, look. I don't want to fuck. I don't want to fuck you. I don't want to fuck each other. Who? Todd, Damien. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, I'm that? here. God, it's Barbara. She wants to fuck again. Her Bring pussy, her in here. Her pussy stinks. No. Oh, what are y'all doing in here? All right, bend over, Barbara. I'm bending over. All right, it's in. I'm fucking. Oh. I'm fucking her. Oh, Lord <sighs> God. Oh, that feels amazing. I'm fucking her pussy. I'm going to stack you two up. Yeah, stack us up and fuck us. Okay. Are you going to come, Damien? <sighs> I'm going to come. Yeah, I'm going to come too. Oh, Barbara. Lord. I'm fucking right now. Oh, I'm, that feels and wonderful. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. <sighs> Barbara, finger my ass. Oh. Oh, Lord, that's disgusting. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I've got cum dripping out of my legs. Oh, Ooh. Bob. <laughs> nice little fuck session there. Good times. Gary looks so fucking cute I right know, now. He I is, can't. Gary is asleep on the uh, podcast floor right now looking so fucking cute. That's mama's baby. That rug puts him to sleep. Yeah. All right, so that was fun. Um, I guess it's now time for, I guess, Brett to lean forward, maybe? Oh, yeah. Okay. I can't even hear them. Your computer's not plugged up, Brett. Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck. Get it on. uh, That's uh, something you got to remember to do. No, it it actually is. Let me me just do that again. Interesting. We're trying different things because we don't want that buzz to be buzzing. Yeah. Yeah, it's connected to my AirPods. Damn it. Earlier, wow. I was connected, connected to both. I, mm. yeah. I kind of feel like AirPods ruin relationships. Yeah. Whoa. 
I can see that. What do you mean? Because you already can't hear, and then you put the fucking <laughs> AirPod in, and you double can't hear. Hey, Brett, just do better. Yeah, all the time. All right. You yeah. ready to lean yeah. forward? I hope this works. I don't know. Go. There you go. All right, one thing I wanted to share before, um, you know, I was doing the podcast stuff, I was actually a telemarketer, believe it or not, uh, doing a lot of inside sales stuff. So, and the best advice I can give in that type of job is if someone says they're not interested, say, is that never or just not right now? Because then you'll be able to tell a lot, build some rapport, go from there, maybe give them like three free months, something like that. And... uh, what we're trying to convey a lot, it seems like, is, uh, you know, everything's the exact opposite of what you might think it is. Like, I was driving for a couple years, and I found out you don't need a license to drive. You just drive. Um, in baseball, I don't know why everybody's in the back of the box. It should be up to the very front, so that way you can hit the curveball before it breaks in the sinker all as well. Um, weeds are actually really good. They're really cool. You should ground. I don't know if you know what grounding is. You should. Brett, this is your dad. Time's up. Lean back. All right. All right. Holy shit. Interesting. I do have something to touch up on what you said. Okay. And I never do this. Okay. But um, when I worked, I was a telemarketer. How long? Not long because it fucking sucked. Yeah. But I was going to school full time. This was the craziest year of my fucking life. I was going to school full time. It was my senior year of college. I was taking 18 hours. I was working a full-time job at Sonic and part-time doing this telemarketing. Like when I say like, I mean, I slept like four hours a night. It was awful. So anyway, basically we were told, so I was calling, I was working for like, it was at this company that did a bunch of stuff, but I was calling on behalf of like Macy's credit cards. So basically like I wanted to see if they want to basically upgrade to the, you know, the gold card or whatever. They had spent mm-hmm. so much money, whatever. Long story short, we were told not to take no, that we were told they had to say no. It was either four or five times before we could give up. And people were listening. Those calls were recorded. So if we gave up after them saying no once or twice, like we'd get in, like fired or in trouble. So we had to literally basically pretend like we didn't hear what they said. Mm-hmm. And had to continue trying to get them to whatever. And they finally, after, once I said, and I was, dude, I would pray. I would pray that someone would be quick with me and say no multiple times fast. And I would count the no's. I'd be like, oh my God, one more no, one more no, and I can get. And then finally they'd be like, no. I'm like, okay, thank you. You know, and then it'd be like almost a relief. But now I know that. So if someone calls or not even calls if a salesperson I was kind of told this to work in sales at the mall not five times but we had to like it was like once they had to say it once or twice if you are truly not interested in a salesperson whether it's on the phone or in person Mm -hmm. is really after you and they won't give up if you say no I mean I'll go I'm not interested no no thank you I will say it like five times back to back to back to back to back to back and then finally I'll go okay thank you you should just go, no, 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 no. That's what I'm ha- saying, and I have. I have. That's why if they're oh not interested, gosh. you say, is that never or just not right now? And then they'll say, you know. They yeah, get so, me. Yeah. I was walking down the road. Oh, they get Greg, too. What happened? Well, we were going to breakfast the other morning, and Brett left me across the street, so I was behind him. And... um. <laughs> So then this guy's like, hey, have you heard about uh, Greenpeace? On the phone? No. Or in person? He okay. was standing on the sidewalk, and he was like, he sucked me in. So yeah. I just uh-uh. freaking went over there real quick. Mm-mm. What you doing going over there? <laughs> Chelsea, he was like from me to you away. Doesn't matter. So he's just like, huh. and I couldn't, Mm-mm. I couldn't just walk away. Mm-mm. Oh, I, I, oh, I, oh, I can't walk away fast enough and with more confidence well usually i dodge them and if they're too aggressive i'm like okay fuck you actually but this guy was just kind of chill and then i was like you know what i said i'll look it up but i gotta go because it was brett's birthday so i went to go look up his green peace thing 
and we watched porn the night before and we're fucking and that's what came up on my phone and i was just like and he was staring at my phone when i was typing in green peace and i was like that's oh my god that's funny POV that's, anal threesome. Was it really? To Greenpeace. Ooh, I couldn't get off to that. God. That's Brett. That's my category, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Um, no, I was in the, uh, was it Ross? Not Ross. What's that other store called? Marshall's. I was in the Marshall's parking lot. Me and Libby and Beth. And I was walking to the car by myself. They were still in Marshall's. Mm-hmm. This was a couple nights ago. It, they were about to close. It was like 9 p.m. We're parked in the back of the parking lot. I'm walking back there. Two missionaries. What are they called? Missionaries. Is it missionary? Yeah, they're Jehovah's more, Witness. Jehovah's Witness. Oh. Might have been. I don't know. But like, you know they're like the, the, the religious boys that come around to your door. Mm-hmm. You can tell when the other dresses up. Yeah, they're, they're usually Mormon missionaries. These guys were probably in their teens, if not early 20s, and they came walking up to me with their Bibles. Oh. <laughs> and I literally go, they go, hello. And I go, hello. I go, man, not tonight, <laughs> my man, but have a good night. And they go, okay. <laughs> like, you just have to say that. I literally go, man, not tonight, but have a good one. They're like, okay, thank you. I grew up hiding. I the missionaries are coming. We would all <gasps> fucking disperse and hide <laughs> until they would knock. We we would not move. The missionaries are coming, and we all knew to shut the fuck up. Did good they way come to, a lot? Oh yeah. Oh, in to you, your house in because, Utah, I bet. yeah, because in Utah, and then they know the houses where you are not Mormon. So they will come to your house even more trying to push you to become a Mormon. Dude, that's why. I'm sorry. That's why. I know we don't even got to get into a religion talk, but I know that most religions, like that's part of the religion is getting people in. Mm-hmm. Which is, uh-uh. <laughs> not, <laughs> not for me. Which is wild. Just let people be. Yeah, Damn. just let people do what they want. Knocking on their doors. A lot of people have no soliciting because it just... You know, yeah. happens so often. Yeah. Or no solicitors. Gary. I can't stop looking at Gary, y'all. He looks so <laughs> and he's fucking. facing you. He looks so fucking cute. Mom, Mr. Lannell. I could never be a, mel- a telemarketer, a salesperson. You couldn't. I would. Mm-hmm. You are a salesperson right now. You guys are always selling yourselves. Well, every, every occupation sells. I that's think. different, though. You know what she means. Yeah, I can't I be know, out yeah, there being like, hey, um. <laughs> yeah. You couldn't. You don't even like to ask for to-go boxes Mm-mm. at restaurants. To just be <clears throat> in a freaking inconvenience in somebody's fucking day. Mm-hmm. Nah. Yeah. I've been a telemarketer too. You have. Uh huh. Any stories? Mm-hmm. Nah, we did, didn't. Have did any you stories. fuck in the telemarketing? No, I wasn't there long enough. Uh. <laughs> Gave it another <laughs> week. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Did we do all the uh, segments? <clears throat> I think so. Oh, let me do the rock fucker of the week. Rock fucker of the week is Finnish Forest Wizard. Ooh. Hey, honeys, Maggie is going to be contacting you. Give her your address, and she will send you our exclusive Rock fucker of the Week T-shirt. You guys can also go to viralpodcast.co and support us by getting a T-shirt, jacking off to listening to us, giving us a download, whatever you feel like. All right, honeys. We're not salespeople, but I know that's why. I, that's why I just did it. I was waiting. I was waiting to say something. I was looking at Brett, and he wasn't saying anything. Oh, he's <clears throat> yeah. Brett, you okay? Oh yeah, I'm just ready to you know start this beautiful bean footage. All right, let's yeah. go. Then roll it. Roll it. Roll okay. it. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Moo Moo commercials. Today's installment is brought to you by. AdamandEve.com. You guys know we love our friends over at AdamandEve.com. Hey, bunch of cool dudes, you know, just giving out discounts left and right, helping you bust a nut left and right. Paige, tell them how AdamandEve.com is going to help them bust a nut. Adam and Eve is going to help you bust a nut because they have the best toys for your orifices. They have cock rings, dildos, nipple clamps, vibrators, clit suckers, clit ticklers, and more. Listen, they've got all kinds of things on their website, okay? So go check them out. If you're looking for something uh, for a little solo, you know, time away, or if you're looking for something uh, with you and your partner or partners, 
You know what I mean? We're very sex positive around here. And so is adamandeve.com. And they are offering you guys 50% off any one item plus free shipping. And that's a damn good deal. So go to adamandeve.com, select any one item, and use code VIRAL. That's V-I-R-A-L. You only have to type in five letters to bust a nut. That's V-I-R-A-L. Hey, you viral vixens. Just calling to see how you guys are doing. Um, quick question. Does any of, does anyone in your life voice not match the voice in your head of that individual? Because I have like a Boston 90 year old chain smoker's voice for my mom's voice in my head. And that's not her voice at all. Like I can hear her saying, Oh my God. How are you doing today? Just over and over again, bullshit like that all the time. And I was just wondering, is there anyone like that in your life? Their voice in your head does not match their voice in real life. Huh? Bye. <laughs> you good? Oh, fuck. I don't, I guess I don't understand. I don't even know what he's talking about. It could be kind of how you're like talking about Greg. Oh, you have changed. You but know? I don't hear him like that in my head. I That's have just... a buddy who was like kind of short, <clears throat> but his voice over the phone, like people, when, when people would meet him, they're like, oh man, I thought you were like 6'8". Because he was like it... real, maybe like, uh, yeah. yeah. Huh. I don't... But, he, but he knows this part. That's different. He He's talking about his mom, who he has known his whole life. Came out her puss. <laughs> I mean, I don't. Do you guys understand it? Besides, well, when that? I'm when I'm thinking about y'all talking, I think about you and your voice. There's nothing worse than hearing your own voice in a video, and See, people like are it. watching it. I like it, but you don't like people watching your videos, and fr- that's what I fucking hate. I f- when people when I'm in a group, of people that you know I'm new around or whatever, they'll be like, "Oh, let's put like let's Chelsea's a," blah, blah, and they'll pull up my stuff, and I'm like. Oh my, I hate, but if I like film something and I watch it back, I don't mind hearing my voice. Oh yeah. But yeah, the whole like people watching and I don't know why it's, I don't know why I hate it. I hate it too. Hmm. I used to hate my voice in videos, but. Hmm. What about like chocolate rain guy? What? Remember you like chocolate rain? Like, no, you guys don't remember that? What? He had like just this nerdy looking guy, but with a really tell him Paige deep singing voice. Lean back. Yeah. Okay. Hey Brett. Brett, we're gonna Sorry. have to tuck you in. Let's try let, to help. let us tell you to lean back. Sorry. Because if you if you're thinking that I should lean back, then you should do it before you before you say it. Well, she did like a slow motion turn to me. Hmm. So I. Yeah, Brett, go ahead and get ready for bed. We'll be there in a minute. Tuck you in. Okay. <laughs> say good night and stuff. All right, guys. Yeah, we'll tell you good night in a minute. Yeah. I'm just kidding. I don't I have no clue what you're talking about. Hmm. Brett saying K like he's the caller. Can I maybe play the... Hey, uh, Brett, you can maybe... <clears throat> <laughs> no, Brett, you can't play it because it may, it may get us... Uh, <clears throat> may put a strike on our, on our shit. We got to think We gotta think about these things, okay? Oh, yeah, somebody asked me on Twitter, Paige, why do you say Bajo and you don't use your T's a lot? Are you... Um, you're not from New York City, but a lot of people in New York don't use their T's. And I'm like, I just say Bajo and all that. So I don't get fucking deleted off of Instagram. That's true. And I've never noticed you do that. I, I'll just say words in a weird way. So I yeah, don't get detected and huh. strike and fucking. Well, they're always detecting us. I know. We're always being detected. It's scary. No matter what. So anyway. All right. Uh, uh, next caller. Hey, and Brett. Hey, Brett. There's too many seconds in between callers. You need to be alert. You were just on your phone. Well, no, I was ready. You weren't ready. No, I was. You said it ready for next call, and I was going to press it. <laughs> All right, ready for next call. Okay. Oh, okay. yeah. Too long, too long. What? It's not my fault. Hey, honey, this is Gator. Gator. I've been dating this girl for about a month now, and she wants to try ass play already, and I'm just wondering, is it too early in the relationship, or should I just go with it? All right, let me know. Love you guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Love you, Gator. It's never too early for <clears throat> ass play. No, just do it, man. There's no time There's no time restrictions on ass play. 
could have happened first night. Could have happened first night. Could have happened. Can happen on your fiftieth wedding anniversary. There's no rules to anything if you think about it. And as long as you're alive, your butthole is still there. It's there and could be played with. Do you want the ass play? So do it. If you don't, then don't. Then don't. But no, you don't got to wait till your one year anniversary. I mean. Like she was saying, you could have done this your first night, so hop to it. Just take it slow. Make sure she does lube up a finger, or at least make sure your butthole's moist. That's the only advice I could give. Well, make sure your butthole's clean. And her fingernails maybe are chopped. Yes. Make sure she's chopped her fingernails down, and that you go clean your fucking asshole. Make sure you take a shit that day. A, a good one. Get everything out. Get a everything out. Ooh. Maybe shave it. Give it a clean shave. Maybe there is a time for ass play. You got to plan that shit out. Well, he needs to be ready. If he knows she's wanting to do it, he needs to be ready. What, Brett? I bet if someone has a bidet, that probably means they're into ass play. Or they just like a clean asshole. Maggie, have you ever gone down on a guy's ass and it was nasty? Mm, no, not a nasty one. They're all pretty clean. <sighs> You've yeah. lucked out. They're all clean. They're all clean and shaved and... Wow. Honestly, a couple wispies wouldn't freak me out. No. And usually right around the butthole is usually... A wispy area. Yeah. Well, it's usually, you know, there's no hair on the actual mm-hmm. butthole. It's around it. So, you know, just make sure it's clean. And when you think it's clean, wash it again. Couple Damn. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting mad about it. Well, people just don't clean themselves. Me. And it's like, come on, if somebody's going to be licking your junk, clean it. I've never had that problem, so. Yeah. Anyway, thank you for calling in. Thank you. And have fun. Love you. Hey, um, my son brought home a dog one day when I got off work, and he didn't discuss it with me at all. And I just thought he was just babysitting it. And then I find out that he was going to take care of it for the rest of his life. And this thing is peeing all over. He won't let anybody touch him but my son. And I told him after three days of this, peeing all over the place, he has to get rid of it, take it back to where it was, which was his grandma's. And now my son won't talk to me. He hasn't talked to me for probably been about a week. So now I don't know what to do. What did I say the wrong thing? Help me out. Mm. Thanks, guys. I love you guys. We love you. Love you. I'd say, listen mm. up, motherfucker. I pay the bills. I'm your mom. I run this fucking house. Your this dog's pissing everywhere. It's going, and deal with it. Amen. <laughs> Don't let your fucking kid walk all over you no you didn't say anything wrong matter of fact you said the right you said the right thing mm. i would have said it first day <laughs> and the fact that she's doubting herself if she if she you know said the wrong thing to her son no he can stay mad yeah stay mad or fucking that's a big deal to bring in a dog into your home without discussing it with you without no and the fact that it was running around pissing everywhere for three days there was no you know no Sorry, you didn't say the you didn't say the wrong thing. I would have done the exact same thing. It's like bringing home a child, for real. Like he needs to talk with you about those things. That that to me tells you tells me that he just didn't respect your your opinion or your decision or whatever. He was just like, I'm bringing the dog home. Hell no. He needs a fucking. He needs to be set straight. He can stay mad. You know what I'd be doing? Going on about my day. Yeah. And I know you're probably like, you don't want him to be pissed off and hurt, but sorry, he's got to learn, dude. He might not know, like... <clears throat> I don't know I how old the son is. Yeah, when you're <clears throat> a young kid, though, you're just like, oh, a dog, a dog. Mm-hmm. You don't even think about, okay, when we fucking leave for vacation, somebody's mm-hmm. got to babysit it, the money it takes to take care of them, vet fees, pissing all over the floor, ruining shit. There's so many things that go into it. Just reassure him and yeah, and tell him who's boss. For real. For real. So, you didn't do the wrong. You didn't do the wrong thing, honey. So you did the right thing. Yeah. So. And good luck and stay strong with him. Exactly. Love ya. Hey, honey. It's my fucking birthday here. 
which is on the same day as the viral podcast birthday. So I thought I'd call and share a little story with you. So my husband and I, we got married this year. And the summer on our way back from our honeymoon, I was like, hey, baby, you want to listen to this podcast? Because uh, we went and saw your show, Chelsea, in May. Fucking hilarious in Atlanta. So we were listening, and <laughs> you started reading letters from Penthouse. I look over, and my husband's dick was hard, right? So I was like, hey, you want to pull over and fuck? So we pulled over off the side of the interstate and found this little uh, trail, if you would. Uh, drove our car down to the trail, and we fucked in the front seat of my car. So kind of like a threesome, but not really Chelsea. But, yeah, just thought I'd share that with you all. Love what you fucking do. I listen to every episode and keep doing your thing. Oh, yeah. Whoa. 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 Honeys, I was there. I was there in spirit. You were there with that voice. Brett's dad's right. Letters to Penthouse gets people hard. Damn. I mean, he was horny, and she said, let's fuck. And they fucked. That I makes me happy. I wonder if they kept it on while they were fucking. She said it was like a threesome. Like, we were there. I was there. That's kinky. Yeah. It's kind of hot if you think about it. Thanks for sharing that. Yes, thank you for calling in. And thank you for loving Letters to Penthouse. And thank you for just loving the podcast. Love you, honey. I love you, honeys. <clears throat> Athletic Greens. You guys have been using and loving it ever since we started talking about it here on the pod. If you follow me on Instagram, you guys know I've been using it every single morning. Helps me get going, dude. Helps me you know, get awake and, and um, helps keep that gut regular. I do it as a part of my morning routine. I have that, a cup of hot tea, and I'm ready to go for the day. I started taking AG1 because I feel that I don't get enough vitamins throughout the day. So one scoop of that and eight ounces of water, chug, 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 and I feel awake and rejuvenated. So what is this stuff? With one scoop of AG1, you're getting over 75 vitamins and minerals and probiotics and you guys this stuff is high quality it supports your nervous system your gut health your immune system and overall energy and i actually like the taste to me it almost tastes like i kind of taste like a vanilla almost like a vanilla protein or something like that it tastes really good and i bring the can of ag1 with me when i travel because it's just easy to throw a scoop in water and then also it allows you to just drink more water athletic greens has over six 7,000 five-star reviews. That's a lot. And it's cheaper than getting all the different supplements yourself. Right now, it's time to arm your immune system with daily nutrition. And hey, it's just one scoop and a cup of water each day. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash viral. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash viral to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Hi, I have one question. I was watching a TikTok where Chelsea um, ordered like beef or something from Din Kai Pai or something. I don't know. Anyway, Paige being a vegetarian, does that bother you? That's all I want to know. Also... I can go on and on and on about stories and (laughs) advice that I can be given, but I love you guys. You guys are awesome. I am from Montana, and (laughs) that's all. Yeah, good. Love you. Bye. Love ya. Love you, honeys, but are you okay? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, sometimes it pisses me off. Or makes Sometimes we fight about it. Yeah. We get in big fights about me ordering meat. We'll throw. Yeah. We've hit each other. Mm-hmm. I'm like, don't get the fucking beef dumplings. Yeah. And I don't want to smell them. 
We've caused scenes in restaurants. Fighting. Screaming. <laughs> Imagine, dude. Oh my. What if I really got fucking mad? That'd be why I'd order it anyway. Sorry. Sorry about you. Sorry about anybody. If you have a freaking vegetarian or vegan friend who gets mad if you eat meat, I mean, bye. You couldn't care less. I will even, I eat things with meat in them. Like, I'll just pick out the fucking meat. I'll get biscuits and gravy, pick out the sausage. Yeah. I hate when people try to make it a big deal. Yeah. I'll pick around anything. Because you're not vegetarian for animal rights. You're not vegetarian for health purposes. You just literally don't like the taste and texture of meat. Do not just, like it. Just like if you didn't like, you know. Cabbage. Yeah, it's the same thing. You're not doing it for a, you know. Mm-hmm. So that's hilarious if you got mad at me if I ordered meat. I heard that Ellen. Uh-huh. DeGeneres. Uh-huh. How do you say her last name? You got it. Oh. um, She would not let her employees eat, I think, meat because uh-huh. she's vegan. Mm-hmm. Chew gum, I thought it was. Oh. Yeah. I think a lot of things, like you couldn't eat certain foods at her work because she has a very sensitive nose. Oh, damn. That's, oh, God. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, I'm not that person. I hate power trip people. <laughs> Come on, bro. Come on, bro. It's just some beef. Chill. And she eats pussy. That's meat. That is meat. It's meat in a way. Meat you can't even get through. Right. That's some fucking right. tough meat. Right. Fat. So so at least let your employees, you know, have some chicken strips at yeah. lunch. Wow. Yeah. I would never care, ever. No, Paige. Can you? No, that's funny. Some people I've talked to, though. You can tell that there's vegans and vegetarians that are sensitive as fuck, though, because they'll be like, are you sure? I, or, like, they're afraid to even ask me questions about it. Whoa. I know. It's well, not that <clears throat> crazy to me. When I was working at Whole Foods uh, in the bakery, uh, there was this guy who worked in the produce department, and he was vegan, but he was, like, extremely, extremely, extremely... Um, wanted to educate everyone constantly and, and talked about it constantly. And I remember on my break, I went to go get groceries, and I was getting stuff to make garlic mashed potatoes. And I had had potatoes, the garlic, and I went and got um, heavy cream to put in my potatoes. And I remember him coming up to me and, like, looking in my basket. And he was like, what are you going to cook? And I was like, oh, garlic mashed potatoes. And he was like, why don't we find a, 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 a substitute for that heavy cream? And I was Why like, don't you suck a fart out of my ass? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Fuck. Exactly. And I was like, and he, and he was a really cool, he honestly was really fucking cool, but this side of him was annoying. And he was, and I was like, oh no, I go, I like the heavy cream. He was like, he goes, but, and and I was like, I'm going to buy the cream. (laughs) I'll send you a pic. God, to come up to my shopping basket and be like, let's find an alternative. Let's not. That's worse than a missionary. You know what? You're right. I think it is. Let well, me just be me. Yeah. Just let me be me. I get so much shit for being a vegetarian. You do. You do. Because when people hear it, when people in real life, when they hear you're vegetarian, they automatically, they'll always be like, oh, like they all think, they think you're like an annoying blah, blah, blah. They don't know that you don't give a fuck. You're yeah. always like, I don't, I don't give a fuck if you eat me. I don't, you always say that. You're like, yeah. I don't care. Don't care. Yeah. Your mom's chest hair. Whoa. Let's watch Mean Girls. Yeah. I haven't seen that in a long time. That'd be good for Halloween. It actually would. Good times. She likes dick meat. I do like dick meat. And yeah, the place we go and eat is called Dentai Fung. Yeah. Fung. Oh, God. And they have so many vegetarian options there. And last time we were there, me and you got the, we got vegan buns. Mm-hmm. They were f- so fucking good. Filled with like little mushrooms. Oh. But we call Din Tai Fun Good Times Fun. Let's go to Good Times Fun. Okay. Love you, honey. Love you. Great question there. Hi. Uh, pathologist person here. Um, so I have an actual story about rock fuckers, like little rock fuckers. So oh, my God. I work in a pathology lab, and, you know, we get a lot of things that are removed from 80s, and... We had an actual rock that was, 
I don't I don't know where these people got this rock from. I don't I don't know. But they were shoving it up their ass and it would get stuck and it would have to be surgically removed. Now anything that gets surgically removed goes to our lab. So we have to like check it out, even if we can't like test it for cancer or whatever. Well, they would always request this rock back. So we would give it back to them. And after like the fourth time, we were like, you're not getting this fucking rock back. So I don't know what they were doing, but they were just shoving it up each other's asses. And every once in a while, it would occasionally get sucked like up in their butt and couldn't get it removed. So we'd have to remove it at the hospital. Um, you know, your anus is kind of like a vacuum and sometimes things get stuck up there and kind of get into your colon. So, you know, don't stick things up your butt that don't belong there. Like, you know, a toy or a dick. So it's just, I mean, it it was just hilarious because, I mean, we we just get random stuff that just gets sucked up butt. Um, we see a lot of weird shit, but... I don't know. I thought you guys would like the story of, like, these literal rock fuckers, and we took their rock and, you know, threw it away. But, you know, I love you guys. I listen to your podcast when um, I'm dumping body tissue and body parts and biohazard bins. So I know you guys like to know, like, where people are listening and stuff. So just let you know, I'm in the morgue dumping tissue and body parts, listening to your guys' podcast, laughing my ass off. So... Keep doing what y'all are doing. I love you guys so much. Oh, yeah. Love you, love honeys. You. Damn. Sticking rocks up their anies. Why did they want the rock back so bad? Because that was their favorite rock to fuck. Had a fucking diamond in it or something. Yeah. And one of those crystals inside. I'm just confused. Why do they go uh, have to look at? You know, they already know the rock. Went up the ass. Why do they need to examine it? Like, yep, that's shit on the rock. Dude, I don't know. But the fact that people are out there literally fucking rocks. And we've seen some memes and some video of, of people, you know, in the rock fuckers group. Like, oh my God. And technically, if you get a glass dildo, you're kind of fucking a rock. Yeah. If you think about a it. crystal. I mean, yeah. Might as well be. <laughs> you are, you know? Wow. A rock. Sticking dude. it up their anies. Anies. What's up with people just sticking shit up their ass? They want to hit that G spot. They want to. Yeah. Yeah. They want to hit that shit. I guess the rock always stays hard. It never goes soft on you. That's I want an Ainy t shirt. I know. A shirt that says Ainy. But that's cute. Yeah, that is cute. But what else on it? Just Ainy and have it like. I don't know. I'll think about Maybe this. Maybe with a little butthole. What? A little rock <laughs> with a butthole in it. Just a little picture of a butthole. It's just ain't I'll put my, I'll slap my butthole on there. Who's going to wear that around, a butthole? <laughs> I would. Probably all the listeners. We can make it to where it says ain't I want something that says ain't on it. Okay. Even just like Give a me cute, some ain't <gasps> Even just like a cute little thing right here, like give me some ain't would be on the I left know. tip. I know. <laughs> Done. Cute. I'll make it happen. About Bet. underwear, you know. Well, that's a little harder to manufacture. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. It's okay. Lean back, Brett. Can I say something real quick, though? Yeah. Oh, okay. Like the, I didn't like how she said, "Don't put a dick up there." I, I noticed that. I did notice that yeah. one. Great <laughs> Brett, point. Brett goes, "I liked how she said." I think maybe that just slipped because everybody it slipped in, you know, her because everybody sticks at least, at least a dick up there. Well, I didn't like that she said that because yeah. that's no fun to not put your dick. Yeah. Sometimes butts need dicks. Dicks need a butthole. Especially if you're a gay guy. Oh, yeah. Well, you know. You don't you, have many other options. A mouth and a have butthole. Stick, that's where you need to stick it. I think she meant like, you know, bobby pins and. Rocks. Rocks. That's what she meant. And yeah. opened uh, beer bottles. Don't and o- do that. Open beer bottles. Yeah. I would stick a beer bottle on my butt probably. The, the one part. Why? I don't know. Hmm. But you'd want to put a condom on it because you don't create the air suction on the prostate. That's or smart. Whatever. That's smart. The condom, I stick it up there and the freaking condom blows up like a balloon, pops, and the <laughs> bottle gets stuck up there. Stop. My anie's hurting just thinking about it. <laughs> My anie's tightening up right now. I know. My anie is tightening <laughs> up right now. 
Oh my God. Oh, all right. Thanks for calling in with that story, honeys. Yeah, wow. thank you so much. Keep them coming. We love you. Love you. Hey, honeys. How do y'all feel about Crocs? Because I fucking love them. And once you start wearing them, you want to wear them everywhere. Just wondering. Love you. Bye. Bye. Love you. How do we feel about Crocs? How do you like Crocs? And how do you suck dick? Can we hear that? Here we go. Now do you suck dick? And here we go. How do you suck dick? Now do you suck dick? My favorite one is. How do you suck dick? I jack off to you, Tammy. <laughs> Let's listen to it. I jack off to you, Tammy. Let's listen to all the sound bites. Here we go. Squirrel. Okay. Do, do, do. Oh, yeah. Here's dad. Uh, that's all I kind of got right uh, now. I think Maggie has a few, maybe. Maggie got Oh, any? she's got the trivial. Oh, yeah. you have I all the jingles. All the, yeah. Okay, that's fine. How do we feel about Crocs? Listen, I don't hate Crocs. People hate Crocs. Do you think they just hate it because other people fucking hate it? Kind of like Nickelback. <laughs> that's a good point. Because Although Nickelback is amazing. How can you be so fucking mad at a shoe, shoe with holes in it when there's like way worse out there? Yeah. I don't hate Crocs. I don't own a pair. I have in the past. Um, I pretty much stick to my slides. I have black slides, and I wear those almost twenty four seven. So I don't. I don't hate them. I don't. I don't love. I mean, I don't think anything about them. I've been on the prowl for uh, some platform Crocs. I want to put little charms in them and stuff. I think those are cute. Then get you a pair, honeys. I seen yeah. some at the mall the other day. Platforms. Mm-hmm. Those ones they have are a cute, whole huh? Croc store there. Yeah, I'm you gonna can go, go check. in and get. There's like millions of Crocs. Millions. Millions. Of Crocs. <laughs> a shit ton. Whoa, millions. Lego rolls of them. Rolls. Rolls <laughs> of them. <laughs> oh my god, Damn, dude! A bakery of Crocs. <laughs> a bakery of Crocs of rolls. Yeah, I have went. Uh, the swigs itching. Those those uh, Crocs are actually in my cart on Amazon. Why haven't you purchased them yet? I don't know. I I usually wait around for a couple weeks to see. To see what? If I still like them in the cart after those weeks. Okay. You know what else I have in my cart? Huh? A fucking, it's been in there for probably a year. What? A mini washer for a makeup sponge. It's like $11. (laughs) And it spins around and I sit there all day. Should I fucking buy that thing? (laughs) Honeys, it's $11. Get it. I'll buy it for you will? I'll get it. Yeah, I got this. You know what I'm talking about? Those little washing Yes, machines? I know exactly what you're talking about. You need that because you love miniature things. I know. All right, now you know what to get it for Christmas. Okay? Mm-hmm. Send in the link. Okay. $11. Okay. <laughs> All right. Love Good times. You. Love you. This is actually the last question. Whoa. Yeah. Already? Mm-hmm. Whoa. Okay. All right, let's roll. Yeah, Whoa. good. Yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> Hey guys, I wanted to tell you about, I'm a server and we get a lot of people that come into the restaurant that are really mean and really rude. I mean, like a lot of them. So I started this new thing. If you're like way out of line and really fucking rude to me, I go to the bathroom and I rub my finger around the rim of my ass and then I rub my finger around the rim of your glass. Yes, that's what you get. So don't forget, when you go out and you're rude to people, we see your food where you don't. Oh, yeah? Dude. Daddy. Dude. (laughs) I don't blame her, though. Shit. I don't either. And you know what? There's going to be a lot of people that are going to be mad we say that because they're going to be like, that's disgusting. That's that's not safe. Like, she needs to blah, blah, blah. Well, then you've never fucking worked. That's what I was going to say. Then they don't know what it's like. They don't know because you're thinking, oh, if someone is just minorly rude. People mm-hmm. are rude all the time. I'm talking about grade A horrible fucking cunts that are so fucking rude. Like, I can handle a lot. And people are rude all the time. Just have an attitude, yeah. whatever. I'm talking about a cunt who fucking deserves it. Who mm-hmm. deserves that ass rim on the cup. <laughs> that, what did she say? Ass rim. They are literally eating her ass. I know, with every sip. How do they not smell it? I feel like I would be able to smell it. 
Oh, uh, you'd be, I'd be able to smell it from a mile away. I'd be like, shit, there's she an asshole her. on this cup. <laughs> Excuse yeah. me, ma'am, I smell asshole. Uh, can I get another cup? I would just bring the cup in there and freaking spin it, you know, like I'm making a margarita, but just spin it around Stop. my head. Stop. <laughs> Stop. I'm sorry, but don't be fucking rude. Yeah. It's real. People do fuck with your mm-hmm. shit, so be nice. There's a way to hand. if there's a problem or a situation, there's a way to handle it in a nice way, but people like that... They don't care about that. They want to make someone miserable. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. And, dude, I'm sorry, but fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> don't be a bitch. <laughs> and I think that's funny. Don't be a bitch and you don't it's have to drink, hilarious. asshole. I think it's funny. I would. I could see myself. If there was a major, major, major cunt, I would, I would rim up my asshole. Well, I've licked, licked cheese and I've spit in someone's. I've done that twice and they oh, were yeah. they were horrible. I mean, I'm talking like. This person deserves this. I did it, <laughs> and I'll do it again. Oh, yeah. So, I don't, don't know if I've said this before, but somebody used to eat Brett's chicken sandwiches you did. at work. Yeah. I was like, dude, start coming in them. Yeah, that's funny. Start <laughs> coming in them. Because oh. it is the mayonnaise. Could you imagine? <laughs> Man, and people were gonna, are going to get mad at us, but it's like, dude, then you go fucking work at a restaurant for Three months, six months, one month, one week, and come back and tell me you don't have a different opinion. And you can't get mad if you don't know what it's like. No. So, no. don't even. And every place is different. Yeah. Because I worked at a restaurant for a couple years straight, and I never had to go rim up my asshole or anything. But <laughs> but there were some people, but yeah. it never got to that point. Yeah. It was bad. Dude. People coming in and shitting all over the walls and stuff. Mm-hmm. Trying to, oh, I had one chick just book out on me. Didn't pay her tab? No, she, she just dipped. And the manager was chasing her down the street, pregnant. I'm like, don't do that. It's just an $11 pancake. So would you have to pay that? No. They would. Mm-hmm. Some places do make the waitresses pay for it. Yeah, oh, but God. not there. Thank God. Wow, dude. It's just an $11 pancake. Yeah, don't get shot over it and run down the street no, pregnant. And don't go out to eat if you plan on skipping the bill. Yeah, unless you're, like, starving. <sighs> but pe- some people do it just to fucking... I'd rather have somebody just say, I'm starving, I- I'm fucking... Yeah. Feed them. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I can hear the babies snorting. I know. The babies are both down here snorting, sleeping since They've snorting. They've been so good. They've been very good. Yeah. Usually, usually Gary's running around pissing on shit and scratching on the doors and shit. He's been real good for mama. Yeah, usually when you're sleeping, you're pretty good. <laughs> That's the only time Gary's good is when he's sleeping. Mm-hmm. Wow. Not pissing, thank you. Let us know what else you do if you're a server or have been a server, like what you've done. Like even, you know what, even some crazy server stories. Like, dude, you're not going to you're not gonna fucking believe what this chick did to me one time and I was serving, whatever. Just let call, it, call us and let us know. Yeah. And nightmare, the freaking nightmares of serving, yeah. waking up at 3 a.m., noticing you forgot somebody's ranch. <laughs> yeah. That <laughs> was bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let us know about that. Let us know about how your freaking mom cheated on your dad, how your dad. We'd love to know all that. All the juicy stuff. Any family drama? I mean, call us in with some crazy shit. You guys come through. You guys have really come through this past year, like, really, you know, carrying this podcast. Oh, fuck yeah. And we want to let you know that we know that. We couldn't do it without you, and we fucking love you. Literally. And, and give us a call, and go to our Instagram, The Viral Podcast. Go to our Facebook, Tic Tac. Please, hey, I've been TikToking it up, so go follow me on TikTok. Go follow me on YouTube. We both have OnlyFans. We'll go to our Instagrams. We'll give you the, that info. Um, all that shit. Mm-hmm. So. And call us at... Four four two seven 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 three 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 one. And always remember, you're doing great. You're looking good. And fuck what everybody else thinks. Get ready. We're going viral. Get ready. We're going viral. Oh, yeah, fuck me.